Welcome to NDN Nightly. I'm Humedi Mark. This edition Stop Stories. Members of the House of Assembly and Senate to be sworn in when Parliament convenes. The Ministry of Health devises a new strategy to encourage COVID vaccination. And Honorable Joachim Henry speaks to consolidation in attaining equity and social justice. The first session of the 12th Parliament is scheduled for Tuesday, August 17, 2021. Members of the House of Assembly will meet at 10 a.m. and members of the Senate will meet at 11 a.m. They will take their oath of allegiance or affirmation and be sworn in as members of the Parliament. Thereafter, both houses will meet in joint session to receive a message from His Excellency, the Deputy to the Governor-General, Errol Charles. In keeping with the protocols established by the authorities for management of the COVID-19 crisis, and with a view of ensuring that established protocols are adhered to, members of the public will not be allowed to the chamber gallery during the sittings. The public can view the live proceedings on the National Television Network, NTN, Channel 122, Government of St. Lucia, Facebook and YouTube. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is devising a new COVID-19 communication strategy with specific messaging tailored to vaccination. Minister Honorable Moses Jabata and Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre have held discussions with flow executives on how the telecommunications company can collaborate with the government on an extensive outreach and education program to sensitize the public on all aspects of vaccination debate and COVID-19 management. Tekla Jabatis is the Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. We see the highest uptick in our persons 50 years and older, followed by those who are 25 to 49. And of course, if you look at the difference between that and the lowest uptick, which is our persons, our younger population, persons 18 to 24, you see how significant it is. So of course, our, our, re, our re-strategized campaign um, is, is really going to be geared and focused towards the younger, the younger population. I mean, we still, there's still a, a, a big portion of the population who fall within the other age categories who we expect to turn up for vaccines because they, I mean, what we want is to achieve that 70%. But we really want to focus and we really want to, to encourage the younger, the younger age groups to get vaccinated. A mere 14.1% of the population has been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The data shows that the younger segment of the population is the least vaccinated. Persons having um, concerns about how fast the vaccine was developed. And we know these are some of the things that that continue to, to, to affect the acceptance and, and the increased uptake of the vaccine. So this is the reason why we continue to educate and we'll be really intensifying our campaign strategy and our, you know, and our public education so that persons are provided with the necessary information so that they can see the importance of the vaccine and of course make informed decisions to protect themselves, their loved ones and those around them. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Tekla Jabaptis. Meantime, the Director of the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, Dr. Carissa Etienne, has made a strong appeal to citizens of the Caribbean to be vaccinated in order to protect themselves against COVID-19. The statement comes as several countries in the region are facing spikes in COVID-19 cases and the introduction of the Delta variant. I, I want to make a special appeal um, to my fellow Caribbean persons to please we have to be extremely careful. We have limited bed capacity and limited ICU capacity in our small islands. We also, in small numbers with smaller islands, we have limited expertise in terms of the number of healthcare workers, the number of respiratory therapists, the number of anesthetists. And our, our health systems will become overwhelmed very quickly. I don't know the, the sources 
of the, uh, the information that is triggering this level of vaccine hesitancy. I can tell you that they are not scientifically um, proven. And I, I, I want to appeal to you to listen to, to the sources where you have truthful, scientifically based information and evidence. Continuous spread of variants of concern can lead to the overwhelming of the Caribbean healthcare systems. Dr. Etienne assured Caribbean citizens that the vaccines work, particularly those that received emergency use listing from the World Health Organization, WHO. The proof, she said, is that of the people that are now hospitalized in severe illness and death, more than 95% of those have not been vaccinated. To be protected, you need to receive the full regimen. The, if, if it's two doses, you need to receive the full doses. One dose does not protect you. And please, the best vaccine for anyone is the one available to you. So please make use of, of, of vaccines that are available. But at the same time, please adhere to the public health measures. It is really foolhardy to not adhering to public health measures, not becoming vaccinated in a situation where um, capacity is limited in terms of hospital capacity, it is really foolhardy. We are playing with our lives. So my appeal to you is get up, wake up from that slumber, wake up from that dream, um, because we know that the vaccines are safe. Um, they do have side effects. Those are extremely rare. And I want to assure you that we are monitoring uh, the occurrence of those side effects. They're being monitored nationally, regionally, and globally. Dr. Etienne encourages Caribbean nationals to follow the protocols in place for their safety and protection. To date, over 1.1 million people in the Caribbean comprising of about 15% of the population have been fully vaccinated, according to PAHO figures. This excludes Haiti, which recently began its vaccination effort. And back here at home, the St. Lucia Football Association, SLFA, is playing its part in the national vaccination campaign. Lyndon Cooper is the president. For us to return to full fresh football, as you have seen, that there are no spectators for club championship, we must move in an area of going on a pro-vaccination drive. Let me reassure you that the SLFA remains committed to encouraging and to ensuring that all its members, all its players are vaccinated within a prescribed period of time. Football is one of the dominant sports in St. Lucia, which brings communities to life. The SLFA president says it is crucial for fans to be in the stands. The amended protocols stipulate that spectators and crowds will not be allowed at approved sporting activities. We will give due consideration during, before the commencement of the inter-district inter competition to ensure that we have spectators back into the stands. But there are only any consideration is going to be for vaccinated persons. President of the SLFA, Lyndon Cooper. The Minister for Equity, Social Justice and People's Empowerment says the ministry has a crucial role in the development of the nation. Honorable Joachim Henry shared his vision for the ministry as he visited with staff of the various departments. More in this report. On Thursday, August 12, 2021, the newly appointed Minister of Equity, Social Justice and People's Empowerment met with staff of the ministry. Honorable Joachim Henry stated that his mandate will be to strengthen existing programs and to foster a culture of caring, humility and empathy for people as it pertains to the ministry's mandate. What I would do as a new minister is to help um, strengthen those programs 
um, bring the caring aspect and um, being closer to our people, I'm hoping that we could bring a new, um, revive a culture of um, treating our people well, even when they come to the ministry. If a pregnant mother comes in, get, give her room to, to sit comfortably. Um, those who are um, lactating and have to breastfeed the, the child, do not leave them standing outside, but take them to the conference room. And not just do it in the ministry, but also extend that sort of sensitivity to our people on the outside at the various um, health centers or schools where people um, go for service. We need to make our people feel well. We need to put them first. The mandate of the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and People's Empowerment is to promote, support and facilitate the participation, development and organization of our people in utilizing their resources to effect self-directed change towards the economic, social, cultural, political, and spiritual advancements of themselves, their communities, and the nation. Reporting from the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government, and Empowerment, I am Shivre Marius. And now, this notice. The Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and People's Empowerment wishes to notify all public assistance program old clients from the Castries districts that payments for the month of July will be made from Monday, August 16th to Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. The payments will be made at the Castries Town Hall from 9 a.m. This is NTN Nightly. Ramos Hutchinson is up next. Stay with us. Caribbean Ties, a connected people then and now. A unique exhibition that presents the diversity and complexity in the Caribbean before the arrival of the Europeans. August 1st to the 31st at the 100-year-old Anglican Annex. Open daily, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Be part of the past, still present today, through stunning exhibits accompanied by live cultural street entertainment. Save the dates. August 1st to the 31st. Welcome back. We now join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Aquiol. Merci, Ota. Homer, Monsieur, Madame, Department of Kinibas Cosability, Performation, and Gouvernement Satisi, Assez GIS, and Samabi, Television National PIA, NTN. Apozito Nouvelle a Koyol. Apozito Primus Hutchinson. Ministre des Affaires Santé et Affaires les plus grands citoyens en gouvernement cette ici, on est à Moses Jobatis. Il a adressé la nation concernant ces cas de maladie neuf corona qui est en cette ici. Ce qui connaît comme Delta variant, qui est sept fois plus méchant et dangereux pour passer ces cas de maladie corona avant. Vendredi passé, chef officier médical Dr. Sharon Belma George, Dr. Michel François, et nos technologies Jabatis, te tient yon consultation et puis les membres de la PIA à sou télévision NTN pour te informer cette liste concernant des grèves mauvais maladies corona neuf sala à cette liste. Ça y est, au point, c'est dans les six cas maladie Delta et Alpha variant là qui a attaqué le monde en pays là, et parmi eux, c'est trois américains, pendant l'autre trois sorti en façade sous cette crise. Ministre des Affaires de Santé, Honorable Mouzi Jobatis, profitez de l'occasion là pour adresser la nation pour cette situation. Honorable Jobatis déclare que si l'information est trouvée par le ministre de la Santé, il a montré que ces maladies coronavirus nouveaux là, ce n'est pas un pour le monde traiter cette question de bonne manière. Ces docteurs, ministres, ces officiers qui disent que tout ce monde qui a fait bien à présent, quand Delta variant, quand Covid-19, quand Covid-19, c'est un qui sert à Avec moi, comme ministre qui a une responsabilité pour ça, avec les affaires grand monde, avec le gouvernement, on a Philippe JPR, premier ministre, avec tout officier ministre de santé, tout est concerné à ce bagage Delta variant. Parce que ces scientifiques-là, avec ces docteurs, avec officier ministre là qui a dit nous qui Delta variant ça là, il qui a affecté monde plus vite, avec qui a affecté plus jeune monde, avec 
nous avons plus de monde qui allait à l'hôpital en ce pays à côté Delta variant là hier avec nous avons plus de monde qui est mort avec bagay là qui est très important aussi c'est un chai jeune monde qui a joué ni et qui a tombé malade ministre santé Jean Baptiste dit que docteur j'a découvert qui depuis yon Japon dose de la vaccine il n'est pas facile pour trouver malade de corona et bien pour tomber malade comme moun qui pas pris la vaccine et aussi moun qui j'a pris la vaccine n'a pas qu'à trouver affecté en mauvais degré par Delta variant ça là comme moun qui pas comprend la vaccine comme ça moi comme ministre ka ka mandé tout moun c'est officier ministre santé avec honorable Philippe Jepier ka mandé tout moun sou pas comprendre point vaccine pour point vaccine vaccine available a, a, nous avons mis un plus centre pour les gens avec nous qui fait faire possible pour plus de gens tester. Nous avons demandé tout le monde pour point de la sérieux avec point de vaccin. Aussi, le gouvernement a gardé la situation en, 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 pas au okay KU, mais l'hôpital Victoria, comme les gens qui pour faire l'expiration avec nous, il y a deux ou trois difficultés là, avec nous qui parlé avec le docteur qui qui une responsabilité avec ces monde qui a travaillé là pour qui manière nous allons améliorer la situation plus vite que possible. Nous avons un meeting jeudi avant de dire avec yon des professionnels pour garder qui ça nous a fait avec Victoria Hospital Respiratory Hospital yo kadi l'anglais pour nous améliorer la situation avec feuille primaire. Ministre des Affaires touristiques honorable docteur Ernest Heller ensemble puis secrétaire permanent honorable Gibbon Ferdinand j'ai commencé une cette consultation et puis tout ce département qui est tombé en bas pour le ministère. Et pour garder en qui meilleure façon, je peux guider ce département là pour suivre la vision du gouvernement nouveau en pays. Il y a un département qui a visité, c'était Invest Saint Lucia. Ça, c'est un département qui a facilité le business en cette pays pour vendre des produits à l'autre pays et pour aussi supporter les maîtres business qui en est établi pour ça capable pour naviguer ce business là plus effectivement. Si vous avez le ministère des Affaires touristiques, honorable Gibbon Ferdinand, dit nouvelle accueil pour un compte de et puis Invest saint Lucia pour te savoir à qui position ces divers programmes là qui existé présent. Il y a ces programmes là, ces affaires euh, arrangées, ces affaires terre, euh, nord et puis en sud pays. Hein. Et puis aussi, il y a un programme qui a pris boost. Le programme là, nous avons c'est un programme qui bien pour aider qui premier ministre est toujours capable de pas d'attendre de campagne et ça c'est aider nous a créé youth economy nous a créé qui tous ces programmes ça là et tous ces plans ça là bien agité et puis plan nous pour saint lucie et nous a regardé manière nous a fait toutes ces bagages ça marcher en l'intérêt les saint lucie contre le gouvernement en parlant de ça ministre qui nous responsabilité pour affaires touristiques industrie des affaires créatives Investment, culture et information, ça c'est honorable Dr. Enesilé, déclaré qu'il est très prêt. Et puis ça y est, ja, ouais, déjà, pendant qu'il était visité ces divers départements qui en bas du ministère, et qu'il trouvait un bon dotoire en ces départements qui ont déjà commencé à faire plein, établir façon de suivre la vision du gouvernement neuf là pour l'autre secteur de venir. Honorable Dr. Hilaire fait comprendre qu'il faut ces divers départements et agences comprendre ces directions que le gouvernement voulait prendre. Ça, c'est la route là qui n'a déjà ni plan pour. Et pour ces départements, ça là, embrasser ces plans, ça là, en ces programmes qui ont déjà ni en place pour aider à suivre les machines du gouvernement neuf là pour accomplir le premier plan pour le développement. Pour ça, c'est pour le développement cette fois-ci. Docteur Hiller dit qu'en opinion, c'est maintenant que c'est un jeune qui m'a montré bon promettre et quoi qui, pour le commencement, ils sont satisfaits et puis ça a été accompli en ligne de production. Et c'est comme ça que nous avons un bout de nouvelles, messieurs, mesdames. Je vous remercie autant pour regarder. Je vous remercie pour l'invitation pour que je ne puisse pas encore. Si vous avez la vie, vous pouvez vous donner une nouvelle. Je vous remercie pour vous donner une nouvelle. Je vous remercie. Merci, Appeal Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You could also catch up with us anytime on the Government of St. Lucia Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Humadi Mark.